and welcome to our National League playoff final predictions. I am Charlie Betts from the Honest Football Podcast and joining me as always is Mr Craig Savage and Mr Daniel Cody. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Um, so I appreciate you giving up your time. Uh, just as a little bit of insight as to how well prepared we are for these podcasts as a, a bit of a, what goes on behind the curtain. Uh, I've spent the last half an hour preparing for the National League North and South playoff finals and we're not even going to do them. So <laughs> we are going to talk about the National League playoff final. So um, obviously to begin with, just some details for you, is on Sunday the 2nd of August, this Sunday at 3pm. Uh, it's being played at an unfortunately empty Wembley Stadium and it is available on BT Sport, which is free if you have BT Sport, but obviously you have to take BT Sport. <laughs> Uh, which is a little bit of a shame, but there you go. But, but that's, you're not going to hear a lot from me because I do have two experts with me today, uh, inverted commas, <laughs> who are going to talk a lot more about this. But before we begin, obviously, on a serious note, it's quite good to have football back, and particularly football at this level, because, you know, we've been talking about a lot about the Premier League, and just yours, I'll just to get your thoughts really quickly on the return of National League football. No, it's, uh, no, it's actually fantastic. I think any, any type of football, even if it's from the Premier League Championship all the way down to the National League, North and South, no, I think it's absolutely football. I think the lower down the league playing or watching football is, is best for everyone, to be honest. And uh, no, very exciting. It's obviously two teams are, are in the final, second and third place. So it's looking good for the league table as well. And uh, Dan, have you managed to catch any of the sort of, because it wasn't just the semi finals, there was a whole sort of knockout system up to that point. So have you been watching any of it? or? Yeah, I've watched all four of the games. Um, it's been really great. And to be honest, for us as fans who want to go to football, non-league is realistically our best chance of going to football this year so I'm really looking forward to that I think actually and I will come on to it the National League playoffs have been a very good standard considering the break and two teams who performed very well are in the final so there's plenty to get excited about for this weekend so you mentioned the final, final even so we'll, um, we'll preview the two teams before we get to the predictions front, uh, side of it so we'll start with Notts County so obviously they finished third in the league with the whole points per game thing. Craig, we're not going to go into that tonight. We know your thoughts on points per game. But obviously, uh, finished third in the league, beat Barnett 2-0 in the uh, semi-finals. Craig, I'm going to come to you first. Sort of thoughts on Knox County's form and everything like that going into this? No, no doubt they'll be absolutely delighted to get into the bottom of the final. It's, they got relegated the season before. They want to get straight back into the football league. The financial terms of for a club like Knox County, that, that would be really rewarding for them. I think that's the expectation for them. The expectation is to be up there in the top one or two. But obviously, Barrow won the league and fair play to them. They totally deserved it. And I'm glad they're in the football league as well, first time in 40 odd years. But with Notts County, yeah, there's expectation to get uh, second place. But, um, they're a massive team in that division. At the moment, they're meeting expectations. So they're going to be absolutely delighted. At that. And the goals they scored at the weekend, despite in treacherous conditions in the rain, a head up and across and a skillful play. And it looked like if Messi did that, everyone would be raving about it. So to see that in National League is absolutely fantastic. So you, you mentioned goals, Craig. Uh, Christian Dennis and Carl Wooten have got 27 goals between the two of them. So Dan, sort of on that front, in terms of Notts County's attacking prowess, do you see that, see that being a dominant part of the game on Saturday? Or how do you sort of see them playing it out? Yeah, I mean, the front two were very good. Christian Dennis has always been a goal scorer from Stockport. He obviously got his moves up the league and has just popped back down now. But the, the most important thing for Notts County's attacking play was the wingers, to be honest. I mean, Callum Roberts, who scored that second goal, they were talking in the commentary, why have Newcastle let him go? He, the goal was that good. It was absolutely oh. exceptional. And him and the experienced O'Brien on the other side were just, they were causing so much trouble. It was a traditional wide two, and it just worked down to a tee. Barnett couldn't cope with it, really. They've got a solid base as well. So there's a lot of positives for Notts County. And you'd have to be very hard-pressed or be a good opposition to stop them winning. Because given the turnover they've had last summer and the slow start, they've been incredible just prior to lockdown and in the playoffs. So moving on to obviously their opponents, Harrogate, uh, who finished second in the league. So we have got second versus first. So you could argue that maybe the, it's the fairest way of deciding the playoffs. Obviously about the points per game thing. They beat Boreham Wood 1-0, a, a strong Boreham Wood side as well, no less, uh, in the semi-finals. I'm going to come to you first, Dan. Obviously, they've, got, they've had Simon Weaver in charge for nearly as long as we've been alive. But, um, you know, obviously not as long as that. But he's been there a long time. What sort of impact did, does he have on that side? And, you know, how do you expect him to set up come Sunday afternoon? I mean, it's his side down to a T. And pretty similar to Notts County, actually. It's the story of, of tricky wingers. I mean, Jack Diamond on loan from Sunderland. It got extended till the end of the season after the lockdown. And again, he was playing on that left side and all he wanted to do, it reminded me of a young Stuart Downing. He wanted to beat his man and put a cross in. And every time, it was so effective. Now, the goal scorer at the back post, Muldoon, they've got Fulcrum in the middles, who's a good player. They're a quality side. They're a good football inside. The only thing I worry about is obviously they're playing on a 4G pitch. That's my worry if they go up because there's not going to be a great turnaround to get that sorted. 
No, exactly. And uh, as you said, just said about the 4G pitch, obviously they, they have a plan. Or is is just well, funny enough, communication with the EFL. How funny is that? Um, I'm not sure yeah, that's so, a great plan. <laughs> no, no. But obviously, Harry have a plan. Obviously, they knew they could get to the situation if they were going to play these playoffs. If they do get to the final, obviously, do they got a plan to, to dig up the 3G pitch, which is a shame because obviously that. that Probably bring you money in as a as, you, uh, as Cody likes to say the community involved in it. It's a it's a well run club. It's a lovely club. The seats cover up rise for the leagues. Remember they only got promoted two seasons uh, two seasons ago in the National League, and they were in the playoffs last season. So brilliantly, they, um, absolutely incredible. They played Portsmouth from the FA Cup early in the season, which I, they, I thought they were great. You know they lost, but I thought they were a good side. And to put a battle against a, a strong League One side shows enough about this team. Just in terms of that, then I suppose you mentioned about the pitch and, and stuff. Well, before we go into our predictions. Do you think it being played at Wembley will have a positive, negative impact on either side in terms of, you know, size of the pitch? And, you know, like we said, they've only had a couple of games under their belt in the last four months. You know, how much of an impact does that have on, on teams of that sort of level? Well, it's a massive pitch, uh, Wembley. It's going to be the same. I think it's been the same for every team that's come back. Well, playoff-wise, not including the Premier League, because obviously they've had their run of games. Yeah, not many games for them, but it's a massive pitch. I think it doesn't matter, in my opinion. I think it's the nostalgia of being around Wembley. It's the first time Harry have ever been there. Not to count, haven't been there for such a long time themselves. I wouldn't worry about the pitch, to be honest. Just obviously, just concentrate on your own game. I'm going to come for some uh, predictions now. So I'm actually going to start with Mr. Daniel Cody. Obviously, you know, so, to give us your prediction. But talk us through. As we'd say in school, show us you're working. So you know, wh- wh- which way is it going to play out on Sunday? Look, these are without doubt, in my opinion. And I know we said second v third is points per game, but the, they are for me outside the champions, the best two teams in the league. So I'm delighted they're in the final. I think it will be a very good game. It's going to be a battle of the wingers, probably, for the large part. What I've sort of hedged my bets on is Notts County have got a very strong side, but Harrogate Town, as they had in the semi-final, if they get a goal up, they've got Johnstead to come off the bench and hold it up. And you can't beat experience like that in a playoff final. We saw it with Northampton in League Two, where experience was so crucial in that one. And it's hard for me, even though Notts County probably on paper will be favourites because of the size of the club, the way they've bounced back this year. It's hard for me to go against Harrogate Town. So as a result of that, it's the scoreline I'm worried about. Harrogate are going up, in my opinion, but I think it'll be 2-1. I think it'll be a really tight game. I think there'll be, there'll be chances at both ends created by the wingers, lots of crosses, but I can see Harrogate nicking it 2-1. It could go either way. It's the same as the other finals. It could well be it's 2-1 to Notts County, 2-1 to Harrogate, but whatever way it goes, it will be close. Uh, Craig Savage, agree, disagree? What's your thoughts? Well, I don't have the workings. If anyone knows me in school, I, my working out was absolutely <laughs> no, non-existent. Not when it comes um, to football, you're stat of course. <laughs> no, I, I, do you know what? I'm going to have to agree with Danny Cody. I, I, I think from the nostalgia story, I really want Harrogate to go up and, and obviously, with the, obviously with the pitch. But yeah, we all want to see a new club in the football league. We, we all do. But I don't, from a, a financial point of view, I do want not to carry up there. So to, if they... Do go well, don't get promoted. How will that affect them financially? Let's go. You said they're two good teams, two good footballing teams. Yeah, I, I think Harrogate will win 2 1. <laughs> to be honest. So, same as me after all that. No, no, yeah, no, I, I think Harrogate will win this one 2 1. And what about you, Charlie, before we go? Judging from my very limited research and from what you said, I'm going to go the complete opposite of you. Uh, I think Notts County got a lot of firepower, lots of goals in them, and I think they'll hit Harrogate on the counter attack and they will win 2 0. Wow. So, thank you very much, gentlemen, for giving up your time to obviously discuss that. As a little bit of a side note, if you are gagging for National League football and you can't wait until Sunday, obviously Saturday afternoon is also the North and South playoffs. And we have Boston versus Altrinham and we have Weymouth versus Dark- Dartford, even, and they said Dartmouth. And they are taking place at three o'clock. So, give us your thoughts on, on that, obviously. But the main thing I want to talk to you about in the comments below is National League playoff final between Knox County and Harrogate Town. If you like what you've seen today, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please comment below. We do love the feedback and it makes us feel better about our predictions or worse depending on how they go don't forget as always if you want to keep up to date with all of our content of which there's quite a bit of at the minute you can follow us on twitter at honest football free and we'll see you next time